all and welcome back to some more floppy nights as you could probably tell i am in love with the series and i just got back from anthocon which means that it's time for me to get back to recording a lot more of these episodes i want to finish this game on this channel at some point I, this game is so charming and so cerebral I, I it's it's a lot more cognitive than i thought it would be and i'm really enjoying it so far so we have made it through three of the levels of the fair itself, so it's time to move on to the finals. Destroy the opponent's beacons and don't lose any units. That shouldn't be too hard, but given that it's the finals, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be a little harder than the, the game's letting on. All right, so let's go ahead, see. And now for the final round of the Gadget Cup Tournament. Our finalists are Alex. Yep, we, we have my genetically enhanced... Wait, no. <laughs> That's not me. I'm not Alex. That's Alex. I for Okay, look. I was away for like a week for for Anthocon. My memory's still catching up. I'm I'm trying to trying to get back to remembering who all the characters in this game are. Alex is our rival. Apparently has genetically engineered slimes, and I'm guessing we're going up against Alex. That would just make sense. And then Rowan with their hive mind robotic turrets. Okay, yeah, that, that's the person we idolize. And me with my floppy knights. Yay! Yep, we're we're hoping to cinch it. Our size are partitions and I'm ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I'm hyped for it. I'm very hyped for it. A battle royale. With this, like, style of gameplay? Interesting. So they're going to be coming for our beacon. We're going to be going for their beacons. That's... Okay. I'm very curious about this. We're going to we're stick with the Monsters deck because I've been rolling with the Monsters deck the entire tournament. Uh, I, I mean, it's a good deck. I can't blame that. Okay, so win this battle. All down here. Okay, so we destroy Rowan's beacon and Alex's beacon and make sure they don't destroy mine. I am so far away. Wait, these monsters are definitely... Why do they get their monsters to start all the way over there? Why am I the one that has to start back here and run all the way up? Okay, that does, this doesn't seem fair. Um, Big Mad, I think good good start. We, we can... Okay, let's get Big Mad right here. Boom, off the bat. Chucky is an interesting thing. Behemoth is probably going to be the most useful, given that it can fly over walls. So I think we want to summon Behemoth off the bat. But before we do that, I w okay, let's summon Behemoth. Here we go. Let's do the devilish deal on this guy, because I want him to start dealing more damage. I think his stats right now, he deals three. If I attack him, he'll start dealing four. Let's bull rush this way. Attack there. Awesome. And now his attack is four, right? Is that how that works? Yes, it is, which means one more attack should kill this guy. You are going to be a problem. Well, you're not going to be a problem. You're going to give this guy more damage, which is great. I do appreciate that. Okay. Now, I think what we do is... Do we want to summon Chucky quite yet? No, we can't summon Chucky anyways. Let's start flying. I think just flying up ahead as best as we can is a smart play. Uh, you're not going to be able to kill them off, and we... You can attack over walls. I think, I, I think Behemoth just died. Unnecessarily. If the wizard can attack over walls. It said that the wizard can attack over walls, and I... What? Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. So the monsters in this middle aisle are not my opponent's monsters. So the, the, the wizard... Ah, okay. Now I see how this works. So this bat, the, the, the ogre, the wizards, all that stuff are not... My, my opponents. They're not Alex and Phoebe. Wait, no, I'm Phoebe. They're not Alex and the person I idolize. I don't remember her name. It's been too long. Uh, but they are enemies to all of us. So, of course, the bat would just naturally start attacking my beacon specifically because that's how the game works. All right, let's go ahead and take out this one because we have the free move. Um, you, I think the smart play is to get you here and then bull rush this direction. Then I think we get a barrel cactus going just to get him started. I think that's all we really can do right now. I don't think that we really have many other options as of this moment in time. You are not able to attack anyone. You are not able to attack anyone. I guess in theory I could heal, but I don't really want to heal. I like that. I like having the, uh, the five attack. <laughs> so let's hold on to everything for now. Yeah, I think this is a good move. We, we just stick with it. We, we wait things out. Sometimes you just gotta wait things out. That's how it works, you know? Uh, these slimes over here on the left are doing their thing. These robots over here on the right are doing their thing. Um, ah, nice that the robots can attack over walls. Now, can the wizards attack over walls? That's the... The wizards are weak as hell. What? They're not doing anything to my opponents. And, of course, that bat's still being a pain in the butt. Because why wouldn't it be? Grr, Angie. All right, here we go. I'm over here on the left. Awesome. What do we want to do? I can't summon any new ones, but you can't attack over here. So I think the smart play is to go... 
you can't reach that far. Okay, let's bull rush here. Use, use my attack. Let's go here so we now can summon. And now what we can do, here we go. Okay, so we, sum we bring Barrel Cactus out. Awesome. So now we have two Cactus Juice in our inventory, which is great. Uh, you do, how much, I don't remember how much damage you do. You do three, and you do four. So I can withstand a few hits of this. Not many, but a few. There we go. We are now in a solid position. Probably not the best position, but a solid one. Okay, let's see how these slimes go. They're just kind of rolling on up, and they attack the wizard, which is fine. Robots, what are you going to be doing? Also, let me know if my, my camera's too big. I'm thinking about shrinking it down a little bit. Uh, I, I had some issues with... Oh god, that, that ogre's being a pain in my uh, wizard. Interesting that only attacks diagonally, and that's still being a pain in my butt for the beacon. Good to know. Um, What is the play? So you do... You still do three. So you need to hit three times, unless we do Big Bonk. Could be fun. Big Bonk could be decent. Let's... Uh, I really need to get this guy out of here. Getting... Destroying this guy is priority number one. So I think what we do is move you back here. Let's move you here. Use your free attack to take out this guy. Get the Troublemaker going just so we have a place to go. Hmm... But now, now I don't have any moves I could do. I guess I can instigate, but I don't really want to do that. I'm fine with this. This That was a decent turn. I say we just sit back and wait. Let's watch Alex do their thing. Alex's slimes are moving on up. That wizard is finally dead. Holy cow, that took a while. All right, Rowan, that's their name. I forgot their name. I'm so bad at remembering names. Here we go. All right. And they're all moving. Excellent. Now it is time for the enemies. Yep, the bat. Is the bat really the only one left? Okay, so now we're going to be fighting each other. Because the bat is the only creature left. And I... Okay, well, I was going to say I don't have any move, but I have Rally, which will allow me to get moves. Here we go. Now I can move. Let's go ahead and charge right here. Charge. Ah, it's not close enough. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. I want to kill the bat first and foremost. I think that is the optimal play. Let's get... Hmm. I hate using all my charges like this, but we kind of have to. Where? Where's the danger zone, I guess? You can attack anywhere here. Wait, can I only see the danger zone for one enemy? What? I can only see danger zone for one enemy? It won't show me the danger zone for any other enemies? That's tragic. Wait, do I can I select another enemy? No, I cannot. Okay, well, that's a little strange. Um, I guess we just go ahead and use charge right here and use our free attack. And Bull Rush should, from now on, get us in a position where we can start defending. Because now this guy can start grooving. Maybe we draw two. Honestly, maybe drawing two cards isn't a bad idea. Let's do. Let's do that there. Well, I guess we can get rid of waste. That's fine. Those were not too helpful cards. And then we just use cactus juice on this guy. We, oh wait, no! That was a waste of cactus juice because it it didn't heal because we didn't actually hurt him. We just took care of his armor, and you can't heal armor. Ah, oh, that's tragic. That was a blunder on my part for sure. All right, what are these slimes gonna do? They're just moving on up. Which makes sense. M moving them closer to all the beacons is a good play. Rowan, what are you going to be doing? Pretty much the same thing. All right. I'm very scared of the robots, actually. They they have very similar health. Oh, so there's no enemies left. <laughs> all right, that's kind of funny. Okay, you do five damage. So let's actually... Let's get a bull rush here. Because you, you do three. It's very hard to tell what my what my goal is right now. I think we can... No, we can't move you there. What is your danger zone? You're sa Okay, we're safe if we're not there. Grr, I'm not happy with this. This is a very scary position to be in, for sure. I say what we do. Let's summon the moth again. Let's move the moth very far. Let's actually move you here. I think this is a good position to have you in. And... This might... Big Mad does 5 damage. These guys can shoot over walls and through through things. But they have 5 health. So I think maybe the right play... Hmm, no, no. Okay, hold on. What we could, in theory, do... Okay, let's let's go pain again. Let's do this off of that, and then do get angry. This will give us our energy back. Draw a new card. And then, so now you're doing 8. I don't need 8. I would like 7, though. You can attack where? Boom, boom, boom. They think we transplant you here. Now you have seven damage, three health. 
These guys do three damage. Oh god, they will be able to kill if they get within distance. So let's make sure they don't get within distance. I think that's the main goal right now. Boom, there we go. We are in a solid position to protect our own beacon. We're not really in a position to start doing damage to other beacons, which scares me a little. Sorry, I didn't let you see that turn. Basically, slimes just got closer. Uh, now, what are these robots going to do? The robots are possibly the biggest threat to me. I think they are the scariest. Because they can shoot over the wall. And shooting over the wall is scary. I don't like shooting over wall. Okay, you... How much damage do you do? You do three, you do three. Hmm. Let's get you going here. Boom. And then, uh, yes, I will use another attack off of that. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, here we go. I think maybe we start using Moth to attack Alex's beacon. I think that's the right play. Let's move you here, and then Bull Rush toward the beacon itself. Use your free attack right there. Oh, maybe they don't shoot over walls. I, for some reason, I thought that they shot over walls, but I think maybe... What is their... I can't see their actual distance. That's strange. Okay, so the big guy is still safe here, which is interesting to me. I, uh, I don't want to heal 3 HP, because what that's going to do is make him so he can't one-shot these guys. But I also don't want him to sit at 3 HP, because that means he can get one shot. I can't summon Chucky right now. can't do really do anything with Troublemaker. This is a harsh position to be in. This is a hard position to be in. I think we focus on Alex's first. I think that's the main goal. Also, yep, yeah, slimes move forward, and I forgot to show it to you. Ah, I need to, I need to figure out how to automatically move the cameras. I guess I could have my camera down on the bottom right. It's not really covering anything. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. There we go. Co covering me in the bottom right. Is this going to cover anything up? I have no clue. It really covers up my discard pile and the end turn button. Do you need to see that? No, it doesn't seem to cover anything up. Okay. Or at least not anything important. Now, I'm definitely in danger zone. Okay. This is definitely a scary position. So let's take you out. Let's start taking out as many of them as I can. Boom. Now, what is your kill position? I don't have any more attacks, so I think we bull rush the hell out of there. Is the right goal. Boom, there we go. Now, they can't attack me here. Use your free attack. Let's use you. Actually, I kind of want to use Devilish Deal just to draw two cards. Because this guy's probably going to die anyway. Fully honest, the, the Barrel Cactus is likely dead soon. Or maybe I could do it on the, uh, the, the Troublemaker. He's not really doing anything. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with fire. Or are we? I actually don't know. Hmm, this is this is interesting. So the slime will kill the moth or the barrel cactus. But I think maybe the smart play is just to get barrel cactus closest to the slime. So that way the slime will prioritize barrel cactus and leave the moth alone for now. I want to focus. I want. I really want to focus on Alex's thing. That's kind of the main goal for me right now. It's trying to take out this beacon. If we can make that work. Also, I just realized that my bottom right camera is a lot smaller. That was a mistake. Yeah, actually, maybe it's not. Maybe I should just leave all the cameras as the size of this camera that I have right now. It's a little smaller, but uh, I'm okay with that. I'm all right with uh, some small cameras. Sometimes, as long as it's not covering up anything important, right? <laughs> uh, sorry, you get to you get to witness the behind the scenes of me trying to understand how I want to do things. So if we take out their, if we take out Alex's beacon, do all the enemies die? That's kind of the main thing I'm thinking about right now. Does that work the way I think it works? Okay, let's... What is your attack range? Interesting. Okay, let's use... Boom. That's going to do three. This is going to do three. This is going to do three. You can do three. Oh, God. I really can't bank on the possibility that... Mm, I really hope that taking out the beacon will kill all of Alex's uh, slimes. But I can't guarantee that. There's no way to know that for sure. And because there's no way to know that for sure, I'm not going to risk moving my Big Mad over here to attack the beacon. I could kill the beacon. But I think the smarter play is to instead come over here, boom, and then I am not in range of any of Rowan's enemies. Now, what that does mean is I will lose this moth. Unless I get the moth out of range, which I can pretty easily. There we go. Okay, now we're grooving. That was... It took me a little bit to try and figure out what I wanted to do there. But we figured it out. We're, we're here. Now I get to... Okay. This next turn, I get to at least figure out what happens if you destroy the beacon. Do all of Alex's, like, units die? 
I really hope that's the case. I really hope all of Alex's Unix die. That would make sense. That would make logical sense. Only one way to find out, though. So let's use the free attack. They do not. They stick around. Why? Why is that how that works? That's a little frustratingly scary. Good news is, this can't attack here, so I think the smart play is to go here first. Use my attack here. Seven HP is pretty solid. The only other movement I have is the Bull Rush, unless I start doing other things. I guess I could Rally. I would like more attacks, if anything, honestly. That's kind of the main goal. Let's, let's get you here. Let's use your attacks right here. Just get as much damage out as we can. Uh, this does mean that the Moth is probably gonna die. I'm okay with that, as long as we finish off this beacon next- Which will finish off that beacon next turn, so we're good. We're, we are in a good position. This beacon will die, and we are a-okay. I am doing all right. Did- Hmm. It worries me that both my opponents are still alive, though. Like, Alex, we destroyed their beacon. They should not continue being a part of the game. They lost. But they're still coming from mine. I don't think it matters much this turn, because the game ends right now. GG. <laughs> but that is an interesting thing to keep in mind for the future. If you defeat an enemy that does not... Jessica, ooh! New leader, okay. I like that. Alright. Yeah, but good to know that even if you defeat an enemy, that does not mean that they are gone. Alright! We were victorious! Ah, not again! We're all meant to fix these. They were perfect! Two steps behind. Oh my god, this is... We're so sassy. I had blood, it would be boiling right now. I like Snarlton. I feel like Snarlton's the better robot, though. They're, he's funnier. Snarlton's funnier. Alright, here we go. We're probably gonna see Alex again in the future. Uh... Are we frozen? No? Okay. We just stop talking, I guess. Phoebe! Those floppy knights are... They're amazing. How'd you come up with something so astounding? I'm so glad that our idol appreciates us, too. Well, it's a little complicated, but basically so you can sell the mental magic of the code. Alex Carlton here to make digital projections. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, Rowan's definitely the villain of this game. Why are we telling her our secrets? We're gonna have to fight actual floppy knights instead of just random enemies. Huh. Huh. Hmm. You've never heard anything like this before? You find yourself near Steel Shore Coast? Come and see me. Ah, okay, so now this camera's blocking off text! Ah, tragic. Alright, here we go. Rowan's definitely a villain, right? Like, I'm definitely... They're definitely a villain. They're like the final villain, right? Alright, yep, time to claim the trophy. I'm okay with this. That You know what? Even if we are giving our secrets to the villains, we got a trophy! Woo! Look at this! GG! End of game! Good game. We win. <laughs> We're so cool. Awesome. I agree. Everyone's cheering for us. What should we do? We got the cash. Let's spend it. So we did not get a new deck. So, like, in the Volcano world, we got the Monsters deck. This time, we did not get a new deck. I wonder if we'll get a new deck in Whittlewoods. But, that seems to be where we're heading next. So let's go ahead and find out. Holy cow, that one... <laughs> I just realized how long that one level took. That was a while. That was a long level. All right. Sometimes challenges are challenging. Who knew to Ooh, hello. My sight must be malfunctioning. I can't see anything. That's just you. This place is super foggy. Oh, hold on. I thought, need not, not, I thought we would not need to work anymore after we received the cash prize. I kind of spent most of it already. <laughs> Moving is expensive. That's true. We didn't purchase a house. You need a new desk. Oh, my God. You bought the furniture and then ran out of money for the house. Yeah, that tends to happen. Uh... Ah. Ooh, hello. Someone said howdy. That's my word. Who's there? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Kinda hard not to sneak up on someone with all this fog. You're Phoebe, right? Name's Doug. I live in a settlement near this forest. I posted the job you accepted. Hi, Doug! Alright, so let's figure it out. We... This fog appeared out of nowhere. Let's consume the entire forest, but our goal is to try and... Make sure there aren't hooligans in the fog, or just get rid of the fog. Get to the bottom of it? Yep, okay. Alright, so which deck do we want to stick with? I actually didn't change up my decks at all. I probably should've. I probably should've, like, looked at the new captain, at least. Kinda tempted to back... Is there a way to back out? Maybe, I want to see what the new captain does, but we'll figure that out later. Maybe we save that for next episode. So defeat all the enemies. I'm guessing there are enemies inside the fog that we can't see. There's no enemies here. Okay. Let's check out that tree. Seems like that combination of fog and force lead to extreme conditions. It's like if you come in. Oh, so I would be invisible when I'm in a tree. Or, okay, hold on, wait a second. Let's find out if I understand what this means. There's no one in the trees, interesting. Wait, that's not how that works. Okay, boom, we do this. No one here. 
I mean, you do, what, one damage? I really don't, I, mean, I don't do enough damage to this guy. How much damage does this guy? Three? Actually, that would be pretty good for me. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be pretty solid, as long as there aren't other enemies nearby. If there are more enemies nearby, I'm kind of in trouble. Um, but I think... There there's definitely could be enemies hidden in the fog, and this scares me. Aha! There's one! Okay. So I'm taking a lot of damage right here, but this is okay. I'm alright with this. Someone just moved inside the fog. Okay, so I think there are four enemies in this right now, because I heard that we took a space and I heard a movement of someone in the fog. Right now we get to kill this guy instantly, which is great. We get to... Actually, let's summon Chucky. I haven't played with Chucky much. Um, I probably shouldn't phrase it like that. <laughs> All right, uh, move to extra tiles equal to their armor value. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So this is basically the same as Bull Rush. That's nice. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's get Bull Rush going. Here we go. Wait, hold on. What is your what is your attack range? Oh, you have a large attack range, don't you? Okay. Yeah. So let's actually. I think if I go here, so it'd be one, two, three. That would be what's necessary to get the the attack. Let's go here. Boom. That was not useful. At all. Okay. This is scary. This is a little worrying now. Hmm. Because you do two attack. And I don't know where the fourth... Don't know where the fourth guy is. Let's transplant over here. I'm invi... So this guy's invisible. Nice. Let's get you hidden as well. I think I want to hide you here. So they can't see me. I can see them. Or maybe they can see me. I don't know. Either way, we now have some visibility. Hmm, this is strange. This is pretty difficult. See, I, I heard a You know, it's a weird sound effect. There's definitely an enemy in the tree somewhere that's not been not yet been revealed. So let's get you... If I go here, it'll be one, two, three. That should be... Boom. Here we go. You can't attack them if you can't see them? Oh, that's sad. What? I know they're there. I know the enemy's here. That's unfortunate. What? Okay, that's actually... I'm actually kind of mad about that one. Let's... Hmm. So the goal is to win in eight turns or less. I think maybe the smart play is just to get movement going. Um, no, let's not go there. Let's actually get you here. Is that way no one can at least see this monster. And... I can't do anything else. So let's just summon a troublemaker. Screw it, why not? Might as well have it in the deck. It's not gonna hurt my odds at all. Ah! So, okay, hello, ghosty. So someone in the wild, someone probably over here, I'm guessing, can see my creature. I can't see them. Uh, how You have six health and you do five damage. Uh, okay, let's use the big bomb. At least that will kill. There's probably someone in here, right? That's how that works. Boom, here we go. Aha, there you are, okay. Don't have any more movements. If I... No, I can't add Whirlwind. Let's try to draw two new cards. And I think maybe... Actually, hold on. Do this then, and then doing this. So now I have a ton of... Now I do extra damage. And I have a bunch of other cards. We can possibly summon... Hmm. I definitely can't get within distance of you. Not yet, at least. I can probably get you to move. Well, do I want to move you, or do I want to summon Whirlwind? I actually... Hmm. This is weird. This is a difficult thing to think about, for sure. Alright, well, I think that was the best turn that we had. Uh, it's tricky. I never... I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not that good at figuring it out, but I think this is the last enemy. This is definitely the last enemy. Alright, let's... Let's kill this last enemy. Because literally, it only took one, one space. There we go. Excellent. And I think we win? Yes, we do! Awesome! Okay. I would have been terrified if we didn't win, because I'm like, there's got to be one other enemy hidden. Overrun! Move unit. If that unit has attacked this turn, move two extra tiles? Ooh! That's kind of a good retreat card. I like that. That's clever. That's a good good way to make care of things. Okay, does something seem weird about those two looking switching spots? Uh, we just wanted to make a human size spider with six knives. True. <laughs> Hard to see them very clearly without the fog, but something very eerie. There's a ghost on the skateboard. That is also true. I've seen weirder. This does make sense. Oh, yeah. Ah... Uh, Okay, 
That's fine. First of all, let's switch up our deck a little bit. I'm gonna, I wanna see what the new captain is like. Cause as much as I love, uh, I, as much as I love Big Mad, we have Jessica. Jessica starts with four armor, uh, which is great. Love that. Moving tactical thing. Okay, it moves a unit plus two armor if the unit has zero armor. So this, this we could just give infinite health to our teammates. Yeah, that's so much more clever. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's use that. I like that. The self-damage now really isn't much of a benefit. So let's get rid of our self-damage uh, cards. Devil's Deal, uh, Maybe, okay, maybe we keep Devil's Deal because it, it is beneficial that we draw two cards. All right, let's add also Quiver Kid because Quiver Kid is pretty cool. I do like him. And what else can we do? I think this is a pretty solid deck. If we want to add any new, if we want to buy any new cards, we could do that. Volley Fire at one strike. Attack an enemy. So this is basically the attacking version of uh, charge, right? That's how, that's pretty neat. We tune a unit to your hand. Oh, nice. That's clever. I like that. I don't know how I feel about any of these cards, actually. I say we just move on. Let's not buy any cards and take the next challenge. I'm okay with this. I think this level might be the last one for this episode because this episode's been going decently long. Uh, I try not to keep th more episodes more than 30 minutes. All right. Oh, this old winding paths are making me sick. Humans are so silly with your nausea and other defects. I feel great. Something snapped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm walking further down. Okay. I believe you see someone or that thing. It looks big. Just be walking away. Responsible for fog. Okay. Well, let's try out the new monsters deck. Uh, the new additions to it. Let's see how Jessica works. So we reach the target goal and hold it for two turns or defeat all the enemies. I don't know how easy defeating all the enemies would be. I have a moth. So it wouldn't be too hard to get to the target goal, but actually holding on to it might be difficult. Though again, Jessica does grant armor constantly. That could be solid. That could be pretty solid. Okay. I think the goal right now, let's move between trees. There's a ghost there. All right. Do some damage. That's not nearly enough. Chucky, hmm, I would like more damage. More damage would be great if we could do that. Let's summon Chucky. Here we go. Boom. So you, you get a huge movement buff with this. We might actually be able to make it like all the way over here, which would be good if we can. I want to just put you here. There's another monster here. This was scary. You do three, you do three. I'm going to take a lot of... Ah, probably not too much, actually. But right now, I also don't have any way to protect this guy. Also, the goal is to not defeat all the enemies. Interesting. Okay. So the goal is specifically to hold the target. You notice so I have two goals on the top left. One is to e do either of the two win conditions. And one of them is to do one of the specific win conditions, which is not kill everyone. Ah! Literally ever Okay, I thought I was taking- No! My god! I'm taking a lot more damage than I thought I would. Okay, this is scary. This is a little scary for sure. Okay. This is worrying. I am scared. I am in the thing, which means that tactical advantage won't work. Ooh, tactical advantage won't work this time. All right. Hmm, I don't have any healing right now. How much damage do you do? Three. Oh, God. I can't do this. I can't win this, sadly. Okay, maybe what we do... I don't know. I really don't know. This is kind of worrying. I thought this would be easier than it is. I was very, very wrong about the ease in which I could do the things. I could get my free attack there. Oh, no! I should have... Okay, I should have done Jessica's free attack first. Grr! Grr! Now I don't have any movement! Oh, God. Uh, well, okay, okay let's use Rally. Mmm, this is scary. This is worrying. I can't move... Oh, yeah, I can't move here. Awesome. Let's do this. And then I think the smart place to get retreat to anywhere where I would be hidden. Let's use Devilish Deal on you, because you just have the armor. And let's move you to the forest area as well, just for safety seat. Ugh. Am I happy about that turn? No. Is it a turn I kind of needed to do? Yes. Now we're just sitting back and waiting. There are so many enemies right now. And they can see Jessica, which worries me because Jessica is the one to protect. This is the one that I'm feeling most, uh, most threatened. All right, here we go. You do three, so thankfully we can kill the, the skateboard ghost. Um, I was fiending for the behemoth. This behemoth can fly. Fun fact, flying is good. Did not know if you were aware of this. Problem. I was going to say, that could be a problem if there's an enemy here. You have a total of five. 
you deal a total three, so we can actually kill the Behemoth, thankfully. I think we go ahead and do an area attack. Where can you attack? You can attack. Oh, God. Mm, so the Moth is going to die here anyway. This is scary. This isn't good. I don't like this. Yeah, Moth dies. That's okay. I, I'm okay with Moth dying. We can get Moth back recycled later. Ugh, that's tragic, though. I wish there was some way to have a flying unit that doesn't die that quickly. Because <laughs> Behemoth... Ah! Okay, there's a bat somewhere here in these two tiles. Which is scary to me. Now, big question is, which tile is it? I'm guessing it is this one. There we go. Had to, had to take the right guess. Let's do Pain and Gain. Let's do the self-damage on you. Boom. Now we're at four. We have a new card. What we can do is get this guy some armor. Excellent. And do we summon Troublemaker? Maybe we do. Maybe this is the right play. There we go. Okay, so my boomerang guy has been discovered by the spider with knives. The knife -der. The knife spider. Is it, I don't know what they're actually called. Sp <laughs> spinner. <laughs> actually, kind of funny name. Uh, honestly, base. I like that name. All right. What we do, let's go ahead and start using transplant here so we can heal. You have enough to instantly kill this person. Let's... Hmm. Actually, rally is a good thing to do here because I have a ton of movement now, which is good. Movement is solid. Let's also get you some armor. Because I know there's an enemy here. Let's get you... Let's attack you. You do how much damage? You do three. You do three. Ugh. This is worrying for sure. Get you over here and then just get all the charges back. I think the smart play now is to try and get Troublemaker to come down. Because at least if Troublemaker is a target, we can entice these two over here. They can see Troublemaker. They can't see anyone else. Oh, I could have... I could have attacked the, the duck guy with my free attack. I hadn't thought about that. Grr! My memory, my understanding of how game mechanics work is very underwhelming. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. We have a lot of enemies kind of closing in our positions right now. Don't like that. Not a big fan. Fun fact. Okay. How much damage do you do, by the way? You only do two, so that's not that bad. You do a total of two with big buff. That could be more, but I think the smarter plan is to do this guy who has four. Heck yeah. Let's just use your free attack here. Let's use tactical advantage. I don't have any more attacks, do I? I'm all right with this. You know what? Let's big bonk you and then regular attack you. No more movement right now, but we can't attack with anything else. This is okay. Yeah, I, it'd be nice if you could just guess a tile and be like Battleship. If there is an enemy there, just attack it. And if there's not, attack it anyway, you lose that attack. That could be funny, but alas, that is not how the game works. You can't attack enemies you can't see. Why? I don't know. It's just how they chose to program the game. Uh, more bats are being spawned. I don't like that. Don't like bats being spawned. It's very scary for sure. All right. Now, what is the right play here? Behemoth. I want to summon Behemoth soon. Let's go ahead. Get you here. You do... Oh, okay. I don't have my area attack. You do four. We could do more damage. That'd be great. We can't do any more attacks, though. Well, what we can do, we could do you here. That's nice. Free attack on this guy. Don't have any more attacks to do unless I bring out... How much damage do you do again? You do three. Not a lot. How, much, how far can you go? No, not very far. Let's bring you out here. Boom. And then... Maybe move you here so they can't see you. Ah, there's a ghost! Okay. Now I'm worried. You do three. You do two. You do three. I am definitely going to die. If they attack Jessica. If they all attack Jessica, I lose. So let's just hope that they don't attack Jessica. I don't really have any other options. I think that's really the only option. I have. Press the attack. Oh, wait. Hold on. I can summon press the attack. This is true. This is very true. Okay. If I do this, I might survive. So boom. Now I have strike, which will allow me another attack. Here we go. Ugh. This doesn't seem worth it right now, but 
Because I don't think this works during my opponent's turn. I think it only applies during my turn. But might as well use it and find out. You can attack this guy. Awesome. Only did two, but that's not... I I'm okay with that. This is... Mm, I can definitely save myself from instantly dying there. Because I would have instantly... What? Why did the ghost go there? Huh? I'm very perplexed by what just happened. Also, I'm very confused as to why my unit just died over here. <laughs> that was weird that they instantly killed themselves. Okay. Let's... I think the smart play is use Troublemaker on you. Let's use uh, Boomerang Guy on you. Your attack there. And now we have all of our units thing. How much health do you start with? You start with five, so Cactus Juice honestly is a good play. Let's do that. Now we're back at full health. What is the right play now? Let's go Tactical Advantage here to try and get more armor. Go you here just to see what's up. Actually, if we do this, we can summon this thing. Which means we can now summon creatures over here. Awesome! I'm okay with this. This is great. Now we can bring you. I mean, Pagaro Cactus in the inventory is a good thing to have. Are there any enemies coming toward Jessica right now? That is the. Ah, ghost spawn up here. Okay. Not happy with this. Oh, this is a hard deck to deal with, too. Because I don't do any damage. Er. Hmm. Well, okay. Pain of Gain plus Devil's Deal and Instigate do work out pretty well. What we can do? Boom. Pain of Gain. And then Devil's Deal here. So we draw in two new cards. We can get rid of the waste. And then we can also do this to get more motivation. Awesome. We probably get rid of the waste because I don't want the waste. Tactical advantage. Let's go ahead and get you moving out here. Get you some armor as well. Let's actually do this because I want to get you moving. Boing. Maybe we instigate again. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad plan. And then we get you here, and the goal is to hold on to this position. Can anyone attack me here? No. Yes. But you only do two. Can we, instead of allowing you to do two, though, deal some damage? We cannot. Grr. That's fine. We're not going to be able to kill the ghost this turn. Ghost is... Might go to Jessica, though. If the ghost goes towards Jessica, we're solid. If the ghost goes toward Troublemaker, we're not solid. So this is a little scary. Hmm. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I know the bat's definitely going to... Ah, there's a bat there. Okay. Good to know. Nice! Okay, so the ghost went toward Jessica. That was actually optimal. It doesn't seem optimal, but it was optimal, because what's going to happen... Uh, as long as this bat is the only thing that can attack uh, my guy right now, which it seems like it is, but it's really hard to tell. <laughs> there, there might still be some enemies in the woods that I'm not aware of. But if I'm right, we're safe. And also, we could summon Quiver King. I, ha I haven't thought about that. Yeah, we could do this, and then we could uh, take out the bat, too. We, yeah, so the bat's not even going to pose a threat to the Troublemaker anyway. Which is awesome. I do like that. Okay, let's do you. Let's press the attack as well. Let's... I think I want to... Oh, I can't move you away from the this guy. Because you won't... Hmm. You do too. What if instead the smart play is to... I really don't know what the smart play is. I think the smart play is just not do anything. I think we, we can allow this guy to die. I mean, we can also just move him away. That's fine. I'm all right with that. Because uh, there's a bat here. I don't think bats are in range to attack this guy. There's no clear sense of danger quite yet, but we don't, we, also really impossible to know. Yeah, because that's going to move. The bat just moved. And that we held on to it to two turns, right? Yeah, GG. Awesome. Woo! That was scary. I was honestly a little worried that I messed that up somehow. But hey, we got it. We we bought both projectives, both objectives. Project words are hard. Ah, uh, we also got bust through. Ooh, <laughs> that doesn't seem useful, but it's free. Uh, maybe, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Free things are worth it. Okay, do we see that, Carlton? See what? We beat that last enemy. It looked like it got deleted. You don't think these hooligans are other floppy knights? Whoa! It's almost like we literally just told someone how we made the floppy knights or something. Weird. How do you think about that? Set your password to Phoebe1234? You didn't use Cordy, did you? Oh no. But first of all, Carlton, you should know what her passwords are. You're literally the computer in her arm that she uses. Ah, oh, alright. Maybe the man we saw heard about your floppy nights. Maybe he stole your invention. I'm feeling we get some answer soon. Alright. So it's interesting that we're facing other floppy nights. I'm kind of curious about that. 
But that is a curiosity that we'll have to satiate another day. For now, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and call it quits. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Very excited about this series. Honestly, this game's kind of fun. It's it's cerebral. It takes a lot of thinking, and it's something that I'm not I'm not thinking about it in the way that I usually think about it. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm enjoying it so far. You know?